Russia has formally warned the United States and its allies against supplying further weapons to Ukraine. The Kremlin said that the arms shipments could lead to what it called unpredictable consequences. Speaking during an interview, President Zelensky has acknowledged that up to 3,000 Ukrainian soldiers have died and as many as 10,000 have been left injured since Russia invaded his country in February. Meanwhile, there have been reports of new strikes on the outskirts of the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, and also explosions have been heard in the western city of Lviv. And in the last hour, the Russian Foreign Ministry has said that it's banning the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, as well as other senior ministers, from entering Russia over the UK's hostile stance on the war in Ukraine. The BBC's Helena Wilkinson has the report. This was once one of Russia's most prized warships. Now the Moskva lies at the bottom of the Black Sea. It's a huge blow to the country and its naval power. Ukraine claimed it hit the cruiser with two missiles. Russia denied this, saying an explosion on board caused it to sink. The country held a ceremony to mourn its loss. For Ukrainians, the sinking of the warship is a morale boost. Many have queued to buy this stamp, showing a Ukrainian border guard defiantly standing up to the vessel. But there have already been repercussions. Russia says it hit a military facility outside the Ukrainian capital, an attack seen as retaliation. It threatened more strikes on Kyiv if Ukraine attacks Russian territory. The Kremlin has also issued a warning to the United States and its allies, saying supplying further arms to Ukraine would add fuel to the conflict and could lead to unpredictable consequences. But President Zelensky has issued another call for world leaders to back the Ukrainian effort with weapons. If someone says a year or years, I answer, you can make the war much shorter. The more weapons we get, and the sooner we get all the weapons we have requested, the stronger our position will be, and the sooner peace will come. He's also warned the world should be ready for a possible Russian nuclear or chemical attack. Speaking on CNN, he said Russia could do it because people's lives meant nothing to Moscow. As the fighting continues, so too does the grim task of recovering those who've been killed in the war. Ukrainian police say they found the bodies of 900 civilians in the region around Kyiv. The capital remains a target, and there are fears there could be fresh attacks in and around it in the coming days. Helena Wilkinson, BBC News. Well, our correspondent, Dan Johnson, is in Lviv, and he gave me more detail about those overnight strikes. Yeah, explosions reported in one of the suburbs on the edge of Kyiv. The mayor of the city says that emergency teams are responding to that blast. We don't have any confirmation yet of exactly how much damage has been done, whether there are any injuries or loss of life there. There was also uh, an air raid attack on Lviv last night on this city. We're told by local officials that two Russian jets launched an attack having flown from Belarus. Apparently four missiles were fired at targets in Lviv, but they were shot down uh, by Ukrainian air defences. It's a reminder to people here that even though they're hundreds of miles from the really intense fighting in the east of Ukraine, uh, there are still risks and Russia had threatened renewed attacks. Uh, it said in response to Ukrainian helicopters firing on villages over the border in Russia itself, the suspicion is that Russia is responding to show that its firepower isn't diminished despite the flagship of the Black Sea Fleet having sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, we also have that warning from Vladimir Putin which was messaged to the Americans earlier this week uh, that if they continue to supply weapons to Ukraine there could be unintended consequences. President Vladimir Zelensky has talked about the potential for Russia to launch chemical weapons attacks and potentially nuclear attacks as well but it was after that message was sent to the Americans that they announced further supplies would be sent to reinforce the Ukrainian resistance in expectation of those even greater battles to come in the east.
east of the country. But right across Ukraine, uh, renewed strikes, further air raid warnings and nervousness for people in this country.